So uh, continuing on with our discussion, let me get my notes out. I decided to walk down to the lake. Um, the next, the next thing to talk about, it's kind of hard for me to get this camera. Um, all right, so on the next part of the discussion on homesteading successfully, I've got organization. And you really want to organize everything um, because... bugs flying into me anyways um, you want to organize everything because being efficient is also a key to being successful at homesteading and as an example um, let's say that you go to use some tool you're building something and you need a tool and if you have to spend four hours looking for it that's four hours you've lost that you could have been doing something else on the homestead so get um, get used to being organized keep track of everything keep notes put the tools up where they belong um, don't live a cluttered life and things will go much smoother um, another thing I wanted to talk about as far as being successful homesteading is do things that save you time because time is money and I'm a firm believer of that um, in the winter time, one of the things I like to do is I like to make crock pot meals. And, you know, with me being single, I can make a chili or brown beans or potato soup. And I could eat that for a whole entire week. But if I didn't want to eat it for a whole entire week, I could freeze some of it in a Ziploc bag or a mason jar or something like that until I needed it. Or some sort of container plastic container with a lid um, so what I usually do is I will eat and just till I get burnt out on something and then I'll freeze the rest and I might have you know enough for a meal or two of other soups in the freezer if something happens where I can't make a crock pot meal and that just helps me to be more efficient that's you know if I eat a crock pot meal for five nights in a row that is five nights I did not have to cook. In the summertime, I do something similar. Usually on the weekends, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, I will cook enough cookout food on the grill to last me for the next week, including lunches. So the only thing I really have to worry about fixing, I get up in the morning, I have breakfast. My lunch is already cooked in the refrigerator, hamburgers, hot dogs, barbecue chicken, steak, whatever I decide to cook that week. And my dinner is also. So that also saves me doing it all at once. One big grill. Let's cook it for 20 minutes. And you've just cooked enough meals for the week. You know, outside of maybe heating up some vegetables on the stove or microwave or something like that. But that saves me time to, to do it that way. Sort of like meal planning, but for homesteading instead of fitness. Um... Another thing that saves me a lot of time is I only go to town on average about one day a month. Um, that's usually to get shelf stable stuff that I'm running low of without getting into my emergency stash. So things like flour and sugar and I usually buy powdered milk instead of liquid milk. Sometimes I'll buy liquid milk. Um, any kind of snacks that I want to buy. I don't know why but I always buy like those dollar oatmeal frosted oatmeal cookies from Walmart if I want something sweet or I get the dollar lemon cookies from Walmart if I want something sweet but I don't really eat a lot of sweets um, so if I do it's one of those two things um, mixed nuts I buy mixed nuts usually when I go to town but either way I'm cutting down the amount of gas that I use like I I only put about a hundred miles on my truck um, a month and that's going to town and getting stuff for the animals whether it's bedding or feed you know I just I do it all try to do it all in one day um, what that does is that gives me back more time that I'm not traveling to work on the homestead because for me to go to Walmart and back is two hours there and back not counting the time I'm actually there um, so 
I just look at it like if I've got to go to town, I'm losing out on something I could be doing at the homestead. Weeding a garden, weeding the fruit trees, pruning fruit trees, spraying fruit trees, that sort of thing. Mowing the yard. Well, I haven't even mowed the yard yet, and it's already almost the end of May. Um, another thing I do, if there is something that I have to have, instead of going to town, I will often order it from Amazon and... Sometimes it costs more than going to town, but that is saving me the time to go to town. And again, it's time is money, so I want to take advantage of as much time as I have doing work around the homestead, getting things done. And if I've got to run into town to get something I forgot, I'm, I'm wasting time. So I'll order stuff off of Amazon, even though it costs more, and then wait two days to get it, just postponing whatever project I was doing that needed it until it gets there so I can continue to work. Um, this last one, I actually started on the other night and recorded it and all of the audio was bad. So um, we're going to hopefully hope and pray that this audio is good. There are things unexpected that happens on the homestead nobody tells you about. You, you don't see hardly ever other homesteaders talk about it in their videos. But animals get sick, just like humans, and animals need regular care, and sometimes animals can just die. Doesn't matter how, how well you took care of them, that's just nature taking its course. So you have to be prepared to deal with these things. If, if you've got a 1,200 pound cow that dies in the winter time, how are you going to bury it <laughs> with the ground frozen? So... Um, there's just weird things that you don't think about. Like everybody thinks homesteading is this like dream world or something. And I don't know how they got that impression. Homesteading is tough. It's hard work. Um, it's stressful. There's a lot of things to deal with. And I'm just trying to be honest with you guys. Don't think that you're going to go homestead and everything's just going to be cheesy and perfect because you're going to find out very quick. That's not how it is. And if that's your preconceived notion of what homesteading is, you're going to have a very hard time. Um, you know, I've been seeing a lot of posts lately in homesteading groups. You know, it's May, so people are getting chickens in the spring, and they'll have them for a week or two, and they'll be fine. And they wake up, and one is dead. And they want to blame themselves, or they want to blame the person that sold them the chickens, and really, it's probably nothing more than just nature taking its course. So you have to be prepared for that. I'm not saying that everything on a homestead is bad. It definitely has its advantages. But there's also some negative that goes with it, too, just like everything. You know, there's the ebb and flow. Some days it's up, some days it's down. And you just got to get used to that roller coaster ride. Um, other things that can happen is maybe you could get ill yourself and... If you are single and you do everything on your homestead, then you have to think in the future, like, what is going to happen if I can't do this? Who is going to do this? Who's going to take my place? And who's going to make sure that you know every, everything stays up and operational and the animals are taken care of and fed and watered and loved on? And, you, you know, who who's going to do that stuff? So there's just a lot of things to think about in home setting, and I've been trying to cover it the last couple of days. Um, these are all things you need to think about before you decide to homestead. And when you commit to homestead, you can't do just 95%. That's not going to be good enough. 98% won't be good enough. If you can't commit, you know, 100, 150% to homesteading, you're going to fail. And... You just need to be prepared for that. And you need to have a backup plan if it does fail. Um, so hopefully you have all enjoyed these tips and tricks, things that I've learned over the years. And uh, if you like what I talk about and that sort of thing, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel. And uh, hopefully, hopefully you found this useful.